This is the award-winning Lee Pitts Live. Brought to you by the North Law Firm. For car accidents and negligent security cases, call Joe at 239-337-1191. By Crime Stoppers of Southwest Florida. Report crimes and get paid with nobody knowing your identity. 1-800-700-TIPS. And by Lee Health. Southwest Florida, I'm so thrilled to uh, bring to you this uh, first guest here in our show, the second guest in the show. Uh, get a chance to talk to Karen Spear. She's really changed the images that we see in Southwest Florida and really given uh, African American and other people of color, black women, uh, opportunity to be celebrated in a big way. Uh, she's no stranger anymore. Uh, black Girls Rock of Southwest Florida is a household word now. So let's uh, bring on Karen Spears. Karen, I always, um, I always wrestle between whether to identify you as Black Girls Rock or Freely Give. I think Freely Give is the main thing, that nonprofit, right? That is correct. Freely Give is my nonprofit organization, and it is the umbrella in which Black Girls Rock Southwest Florida is a funder. Right, because there's some other things up under there. You do a lot of charity Absolutely. thing. You give clothes or something away, Freely Give. Talk about Freely Give. We need to get Freely Give a stage here. Okay. Freely Give is a nonprofit organization that was created um, to empower, encourage, and enrich the lives of women. And the platforms that we do that is through empowerment events. I have a mentorship program. Right. Um, and also, we collaborate with other nonprofit organizations in the community uh, to benefit women in their families. And that's where the uh, Thanksgiving, Feeding of the Hungry, we changed it from homeless to hungry because we want to feed anyone mm -hmm. that is hungry so they can come in and get a hot meal. Um, this past year was the biggest by far, not only in the number of people that we fed, which was about 250, but in the partnerships. Honey Bank Cam partnered with us, Boston Market pa partnered with us, Pepsi Cola. We had a lot of partners <laughs> that helped us make that happen for the community. Mm -hmm. Where did it take place? It took week? place at the STARS uh, complex. Okay. And actually the STARS was one of our pro uh, partners as well. They donated their um, their auditorium or their gym. basketball gym. Right. right. They donated that really? for us to, to, to Now how do you mobilize that? all of those people? How did all those people learn about it? Is that, did that come through freely give and your contact with all the uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, churches and things of that nature? Absolutely. That is exactly how we get the volunteers that we have. Um, we post it on social media sites and um, the rest is history. People, you can't imagine how many people that want to do and give back to the community and they don't know how. So um, I'm an organizer and that's one of my skills and once I get the people to volunteer and it's just a matter of posting it out there and everyone has a heart to give the majority of the people anyway and so they connect with me that way and it just expands from there I then reach out of course to um, sponsorships to the various um, businesses in the area in order for them to get them to um, collaborate with us and sponsor whatever their business offers. So in November Thanksgiving people can now start to get their wheels turning. You'll have the same event again at the Stars Complex? Absolutely. It is an annual event, and I will begin posting um, about the event and preparing for it right after Black Girls Rock. So I see. October. Woo! Black Girls Rock of Southwest Florida. Yes. Now that's what's on the docket coming up September 14th. Correct. It is the highly anticipated, one of the most... Uh, uh, majestic evenings that uh, we have here in Southwest Florida, if not the most majestic evening where we celebrate the achievements and the com accomplishments of, of black women and, just, mm -hmm. and, and, and children, right? Yes, yes, we do have mm -hmm. a outstanding youth category. Mm -hmm. And this year we'll, we, we will be honoring two outstanding youths and also providing them with $500 scholarships. That's great. Now one of the things I know is each year you add a little pizzazz. It mm -hmm. changes each year slightly uh, in terms of what happens at the after party and what happens on the stage. But you you constantly bring in great performers uh, during the event to perform in between different uh, honorees getting their awards and mm -hmm. things of that nature. Just kind of paint the picture of what happens that entire day. 
Well, um, the doors open at four o'clock and the event begins promptly at five. We do have an array of local performers. I like to give everyone an opportunity because there's so much that we have. We're so rich in talent mm -hmm. in this area. So I like to um, reach out to various talents every year in order to give them a stage also to present their um, artistry, to present what they have to offer to the community. And so we have a, an array of performers this year that are going to amaze us all uh, because they are so talented. So after they, after the, we honor the honorees. Let's and go the, back to, before okay, you go forward, sure. this is my job, uh, location. Uh, Absolutely. Go. The um, award ceremony will be presented this year at Dunbar High School. Oh, high school this year, people, Correct. not the community school, going to the high school. Go going ahead. Going to the high school. Mm -hmm. After that, we will transition over immediately following the award ceremony to the Dr. Kerry Robinson Center for the After Party Gala. Mm -hmm. um, what's an award ceremony without an after party? And so. what's an after party <laughs> without having a television talk show there on a the red there carpet you go. getting I interviews? I was about to add that to it. <laughs> Memphis Live is proud to be a media sponsor. Before we work our way through a lot of this, mm -hmm. uh, uh, of this event, Lee Pitt Live, proud to be a media sponsor again. Let's make sure we get a chance to shout out some of your sponsors that are already on board. Some of our sponsors, well, the first sponsor that I would like to highlight is the North Law Forum. Mm -hmm. Joe North is a platinum sponsor. Joe is following me everywhere. I go every time I look up. <laughs> That's my good friend, Joe North. Joe, good to yes. get away with that. Go and, ahead. That's a great sponsor. We appreciate him, absolutely. Mm -hmm. I also have um, Lee Pitts Live, media sponsor. Mm -hmm. I have um, the, um, there's a pharmacy that, um, and it's um, Altogether Pharmacy is one of our sponsors as well. Um, Kathy um, Bruno and Bruno Prada. And Prada. Mm -hmm. They are a proud sponsor as well. I thought I saw Publix or something. I came Publix, Walmart, so they're like, always a sponsor. Okay. I can yes, you. they are always. Where can people go for more information? I know they can go to uh, Eventbrite to get your tickets. We have That's that on correct. the screen. But, and there are other ways to get tickets as well? Yes, absolutely. We do have this year, and this will be the first year, we have award ceremony only tickets. Um, and that can be purchased through me. Okay. Um, all other tickets are through Eventbrite. Sponsorship packages, if you would like to become a sponsor, then you can reach out to me on our website or um, email, and uh, I'm sure you're going to show Yeah, them. but I'm gonna let you give me two forms of contact verbally right now. Though. Okay, all right. Um, my email address is free, F-R-E-E, -E, the number two, give, G-I-V-E, -E, the number two, the letter U at gmail.com. So again, that's free to give to you at gmail.com. And my website is freely give inc inc dot com. Okay. And so, that's yes. the, the purchase that ticket. Correct. Now, you say you can uh, you can get a ticket to the after party as well, right? That would be through event. Through right. event right. That's for the event right tickets are for both. Both. Ter both. Correct. And, um, and a table of eight, if you would like to purchase a table of eight in order to um, secure your table for your friends, you can purchase that through Eventbrite as well. If you are only wanting to attend the award ceremony only, then you can purchase your ticket through me and you can contact me either via the website or my email address. And I also have a phone number that I'd like to add, if I may. 239-226-0964. That's Freely Gives direct phone number. Excellent. Now, I know that uh, every year it continues to get bigger and bigger. I was there last year. Mm -hmm. People need to understand that this is nothing to play around with. This event will sell out on you. So get your tickets now. Don't come to me talking about last minute, can I hook you up and get Karen a call and all this <laughs> stuff. Get your tickets now, okay? I don't have that kind of energy, <laughs> uh, juice. Here, okay. <laughs> hey, Karen, what does it do? For, well, well, what does it do for you personally to have seen something uh, raindrop that you had to now has manifested itself to an ocean? Um, it's a beautiful feeling. Um, it's a beautiful feeling because I'm glad that everyone um, is seeing that it's relevant, mm -hmm. seeing its relevance, um, and it does my heart great joy to be in the presence of these women who are often under-celebrated, mm -hmm. under-recognized, and under-appreciated. 
So it, it gives me great joy to create a platform for them to be recognized and honored, not only by their own, which is very important, but by everyone else that's connected to the event. Right, and when you come to the event, you see all different races. Yes, you see right. males there as well mm -hmm. uh, in the audience supporting the event. It's just like a family reunion. Correct. What do you see the event in five years? Uh, I see growth. I okay. see it being massive, and that is because of its relevance. I see that the venues that I'm currently booking at, that I'm going to have to move it to another facility mm -hmm. that will house and, and most important is because of the relevance. And I'm, I'm looking for more sponsors to be connected, more partnerships. The more people that come out and attend and see how great this event is and the women that we are honoring, mm -hmm. I see growth in our future. Outstanding. And you also are starting to take a look at some men. You look like you might be coming up with a black men's rock. I don't think I ever heard of that one before. Yes. Can't say black boys rock on this no, one. No, no, absolutely not. <laughs> but it will definitely be in 2020. I am in the works and partnering with a male fraternity Good. to help make this happen. Um, we have some phenomenal men such as yourself, and you all need to be honored as well. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not going to make any comments on that. I'd rather see... I'm, in all due modesty, uh, that's great, uh, mm -hmm. but I certainly would like to submit to you some names. And I also want to uh, let you know that um, the, uh, the idea of recognizing black men mm -hmm. is long overdue. And we're so mm -hmm. glad that you're, uh, you, know, you, you and whoever you're working with are taking that uh, time to, to, to put that on the front stage. Also, I want people to know that you don't select the winners. No. Go. I do not. I do not <laughs> select the winners. I did the first year, and what happened was I could not gauge one gift. I couldn't say this person is better than this person, and so everyone received an award. My board was like, no, that's not how this works. So, <laughs> so I relinquished that responsibility uh -huh. to them to go through, so I have no part in that. So there's an application process there to fill out and do it in the, the, the committee votes. Yes. All right, so they're going to be looking at you on that. <laughs> no. Well, you got some great recipients and honorees this year, yes. honorees. I don't know off the top of your head if you were able to name them and what they're receive what or what they're receiving. You should be able to. Yes, Let's put yes. you on the spot. Go All ahead. right, very good. Um, the um, community service award will be going out to um, Jerry Weir, attorney Kathy Duque, Bruno, and also um, Mrs. Andrea Anderson for nice their group. work in getting people out to vote. Okay. Um, we also have Miss Gwyneth Giddens. Um, she will be receiving an honor for women in education. Um, first African-American first elected African -American. to the Lee County School Board. Absolutely, and it is a pleasure and an honor to bestow this award on her. Uh, we also have um, Shari Armstrong with Fox 4. She will be Doing a great receiving, job, anchor yes, women and in the arts. Up under that category also is Jackie Williams, our roving photographer in the community. Mm. Um, she will be receiving a Women in the Arts Award as well. Zeta Phi Beta Sorority, Jackie, and plug in. Mm -hmm. My sorority sister. Mm -hmm. And lastly, up under that particular category is Patricia Idolet. Um, she's connected with the arts, with the um, Arcade Theater. And so she will be receiving an award as well. She's <laughs> drama. She can do that acting. I see you, Patricia. Good yeah. shout out. Yes, yes. So you got a nice eclectic group. Did I miss mm -hmm. anybody? I think you well, got some use. Well, there's more. Right. We have yes, we have more categories in which um, other women are being honored as Great. well. So yeah, it's going to be a. Um, Oh, man, I'm glad we got you <laughs> behind the scenes steering this big machine because this is something else. The people, you have to be there. And I uh, really love the after party. Uh, all the people who are being on it, find your way to be interviewed by me. We're going to set up some logistics. I think I'm going to probably interview them mm -hmm. backstage at Dunbar High School so I don't have the music situation. <laughs> Y'all, we talk about this stuff on camera, we're making plans. I'm thinking about it in advance. Yes. But we're so thrilled and uh, so excited about this year's uh, Black Girls Rock of Southwest Florida and all the great stuff that's happening with uh, Freely Give. Uh, so we encourage people to get out and support and come out and show up and show out. Yes. Any final comments? <laughs> um, just do exactly what you have asked. Come <laughs> out, be a part of it, connect with it, and see what we're doing. And I, I, I promise you, you will be 
um, you will find its relevance and um, you will want to attend from that point on. It's a, it's a wonderful event. It's September 14th. Mm -hmm. Again, thanks for coming out and we'll see you soon. Thank okay? you for having me. For those who say it can't be good, say it can't be done, they're usually interrupted by those like Karen and all the fine people associated with Freely Give who are doing it. We come back, we'll talk to the commander of the American Legion, Post 38, downtown Fort Myers. Hello everybody, this is Lee Pitts, the host of the award-winning Lee Pitts Live here on Fox 4. We appreciate you watching our show here on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, click in below. Let everybody else know that they can subscribe as well. Also, when we're on the air on Fox 4, you can also catch us streaming live at 8.30 a.m. in the morning on fox4now.com. Just click on live and you get us all types of ways at your convenience. That's Lee Pitts Live.